Hi, what's going on today, guys? My name is Sasha Jordan Appler. I'm a filmmaker based out of Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and today we're going to be breaking down my C70 rig using Nitsi and small rig components. And we're going to talk about why I think this is probably one of the better ways to rig up your C70 in terms of a cage and accessories for run and gun style commercial and documentary filmmaking. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I don't want you guys to think that this setup is for everybody, but for me, I love the run and gun film style setup for my camera. I do mainly run and gun style commercial work and documentary work, which is very much fast paced filmmaking and run and gun style. So in turn, I need my camera setup to be very lightweight, small, and have the ability to change the components whenever I want and very fast. I need it to be quick. So right off the top here, we have the Nitsi camera cage for the Canon C70 with the HDMI cable clamp. The thing I love about this cage is that you can take all four sides of the cage apart. Just have these little Allen key screws and you unscrew those and you can essentially make the type of cage you want. In my case, I did kind of a half cage setup because I didn't really want that one side of the cage where my hand grip was. I felt like the metal's too uncomfortable, it gets in the way, it's cold during the winter time when I'm filming. So I just got rid of that and I still found it to be very stable with the two thread connection at the very bottom and a screw connection at the top. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. Also by removing the hand grip portion of the cage, I lose a little bit of weight, which I love. I love to have my camera lighter. I don't like a super heavy rig. It's, it's difficult when you're doing run and gun documentary filmmaking to have a big heavy rig and carrying that around all day. So I love losing weight whenever possible. Another thing I did to lose some weight and also because it was getting in the way is the bottom portion of the cage. I hacked off with a hacksaw the piece of metal that is going around the bottom of the hand grip. One thing I love about the Nitsi cage is it comes with two nice solid screws at the bottom of the cage to connect right to the C70 so you have a really firm connection to your camera. I also love that they give you this little tool for screwing in screws and uh, it's magnetically connected to the bottom of the cage so you always have it there you're not looking for coins or a tool it's just right there for you so I find that really helpful as far as my connection to the tripod and the camera I love using the Manfrotto quick release system it's small light and it's really easy to use costs about $40.99 USD another thing that's really great that comes with the Nitsi camera cage is this HDMI kind of vice like connection for your HDMI cable from your monitor so you're not having any wiggle or connection loss with your HDMI cable. And this thing's really great, it's really robust, and the connection is very strong. One thing to note here is I am using a swivel HDMI adapter, which I really like for the C70, because it allows me to move the HDMI cable wherever I want, whenever I'm plugging in, you know, audio cables or my headphones or my onboard mic so nothing gets in the way I can just move the HDMI cable and what I love about this is that I'm not constantly plugging into the actual cameras HDMI and wearing that out so the only strain I'm putting on the HDMI connection is this cheap adapter so it's probably a good idea to get an adapter, especially for the C70, because it is a tight camera and you want to be able to utilize the space as much as possible. And I really find that the swivel mount does that. Okay, so at the top of the cage, I used a rod clamp that came with my Nitsi handle to connect my small rig rod clamp hot shoe mount attached to a $10 USD small rig four inch 15 millimeter rod for my DD D4 mini. One note here, I did have to swap out the inner screw for the Nitsi rod clamp screw for a smaller size screw. I'm not sure what size this is, but I'm sure you, somebody else smarter than me knows. Um, <laughs> the top portion of the cage, we have a NATO small rig rail with a large silver washer with one screw going into the hot shoe connection mount and another screw going into the Nitsi cage, making a super strong connection. Attached to the native rail is the wonderfully large handle that Nitsi provides with a hot shoe mount and another screw mount option for mounting plates for wireless microphones or time code generators. In addition to the handle being mounted to the rail, I can also attach my small HD monitor five inch to the front portion of the rail without the handle blocking the screen. One of my biggest problem with the camera companies that create these cages and these rigs for these cameras is they always make it so the monitor's in a weird spot, like it's off to the side or it's really high up. And I find if your rig is too tall or too built off to the side, it's gonna be hard to hold that all day filming. It's gonna be awkward, it's not gonna be balanced. So I like to keep my camera rig with a low center of gravity, everything really tight and packed in. I don't like things hanging off the side or 
up too tall. I really want it to be balanced and tight. Attached to the handle, I have a small rig hot shoe mount. The Nitsi cage also has another hot shoe to the right of the handle for an additional spot for mounting plates for other wireless mics or time code generators. And the very last thing I like to do is I put, sometimes where there's extra space on the camera cage, I like to put a little piece of Velcro. And in this case, the little piece of Velcro is off to the right side of the camera if you're operating from the back. So you can put a little time code generator on that little piece of Velcro and right below it on the handle is the time code in and out. So it's really easy access for sound guys when I'm working with them. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you and your C70 rig. If you're a run and gun style documentary filmmaker, commercial filmmaker like me, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Hit that like button, it helps me out. Leave a comment, I love to hear what you guys think. And if you wanna check out more videos like this, go to my homepage on my YouTube site and I got tons of other videos talking about all sorts of things, documentary and commercial filmmaking. Okay guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.